David Flores of Copper Bank is Belize's Fisher of the Year. The veteran fisherman was selected from a pool of other outstanding nominees in the Wildlife Conservation Society's Fisher Folk Annual Awards. Flores was not able to collect his award today because he's out at sea fishing. His son, Giovanni Flores, received the winnings on his behalf. He tells us why he nominated his dad for the award. He's a good dad and he likes to fish. He has 50, 55, 56 years fishing and he loves his family that he, when he, he come from fishing, he gave fish to, to his family. And sometimes he brings some for his friends also. And he likes to help the, some people in the village. The WCS says that Flores is deserving of the award as he's an active and contributing fisherman in Belize. He is a member of the Executive Committee for the National Fishermen Cooperative Society Limited. Um, he's actually the secretary for the committee. Mr. Flores was selected because of his contribution to his cooperative, you know, advancing the movement of cooperatives within Belize. The National Cooperative is currently undergoing a transformation where they're looking at improving their efficiency, looking at introducing a traceability system as well as looking at identifying additional markets for their, for their members. So um, one of the major things that they're looking at is the eventual exportation of live lobster, which obviously will lead to an increase in terms of the, the payment that your fishers will receive. So it's looking at how they can improve the livelihoods of their fishers. So those are some of the merits which allow Mr. Flores to be selected as the Fisher of the Year. Also, he was instrumental in advancing the national rollout of managed access across Belize territorial waters as well. Two other fishers, Paula Williams and Carl Cabral, were also recognized for their contributions to the fishing industry. 40-year-old Paula Williams tells us what this recognition means to her. Well, growing up in my in Punta Negra, in a very small village of Punta Negra, um, that was our, my mother and my father used to do fishing, and that's the way I grew fishing. So I fish, and then I come home, I catch my own fish, and I cook my own fish. So. Is this what you use to take care of your family, your fishing? Yeah. All right. Now you've been... And I cook it. <laughs> All right. So now you've been given an award here to be re recognized as um, one of the nominees or awardees today for the Fisher Award. Talk to us about how that makes you feel as a woman to be recognized for this job. Well, I feel proud and I feel happy of myself because I know that um, not only a man can do it, but a woman can do it better than a man. So... In the fishing Why? Industry, we can. Well, because um, sometimes the man could not do it without the woman. But the woman can do it by themselves, but the man cannot do it without the woman. Lewis says that this kind of recognition for the fisher folk in Belize is important to shine a light on their many valuable contributions to the industry in Belize. A lot of times in Belize we don't recognize the importance of a, of a livelihood like that, of that profession. We see our fishers as just going out and fishing and bringing back, but we don't see the, you know, the extent of that work that they're doing, being out there probably for you know, seven days at a time, you know, the type of hardship that they have to endure while at sea, the risk that they're putting their lives at as well. You know, out at sea is a very risky job as well. So, you know, it's a means for us to recognize them, recognize the importance that that sector provides to our economy as well to our society. You know, a lot of us depend on food. It's a major part of our diet. You know, it contributes towards our nutrition as well. So they're contributing towards Belize's food security, you know, um, so that is a means for us to recognize them. For News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.